Hello, welcome to my next F sharp me trying to figure out what's going on coding video. Um, I'm taking another exorcism, this one called Pangram. The idea is to determine if every character, well, every, every Roman alphabetical character, I'm assuming, exists in a sentence or statement. Um, that's the readme. We, of course, like usual, have the test. Um, and we can start by running the tests already. No tasks configured. Okay, we can configure a task. This is easy. We want to use .NET Core. Uh, we will call this test .NET test. Test run test. So it seems to take a bit of time to get going. Okay, it fails like it should. If we look at what this test is trying to do, it's saying, okay, if we have a an empty string, it should return false. Let's look at the code. And all the code does is throw an error. So, let's change that to false. Okay, that passes. Back to the tests. Let's remove the next one. And here we see it's got all the characters that should return true, but our test will still be failing. Yes, it fails. Okay. Um, I can see a few ways of doing this. Firstly, the length has to be at least 26. Is that correct? It's 26 characters. So... I could say, okay, well, if the length is less than 26, we can already return a false. That should make these two tests pass. I could also just have a string representation of the alphabet like this and say, well, if you equal to this, then go ahead and pass. But I don't know if that is going to come up. That scenario is not going to come up too often. So if I say... If 
input dot length is less than 26 then false else true ah this is a bit of a it's telling me that of course why do that just return a um probably just return something like that like you would in C sharp ah, I suppose the idea is the least amount of code to make it work let's do that although I know I'm going to be putting the if in in a second anyway I keep saying OBS studio disconnected reconnected but I've got no idea what that means Disconnected from what? Is this still failing? What have I done? not right. I've got two failing now. It says it's returning a bull. Anyway, I'm going to go back to this. See if that works. There might be something in F sharp that I don't quite know how booleans work or it's doing something else. But what is the Ah not it. Okay, that that makes sense. Um my logic was backwards and then it's telling me this is quite cool the way it keeps simplifying my Thing. But I'm going to keep it like this, like I wanted to originally. My idea is here, if the string is less than 26 characters, false it immediately. Just send no straight away because it'll OBS Studio disconnected again. Um, so now I don't even know. Oh. Anyone would be watching me anyway. I'm going to turn the stream off. Um, if it's less than 26, send a, a false immediately. We don't even need to carry on with tests. Then we can just carry on writing the rest below there. am I doing wrong? Wrong window, that would help, wouldn't it? I'm not quite sure how I opened that one. Would be useful to know, I suppose. Okay, that's passing. Next test. Um... The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Of course, that is a pangram. Uh, it's a well-known known one. This used to be used in Windows to demo the font. Also, in the readme file, it says that it's the, the best known pangram in English. So, this should still pass because we've got more than... 26 characters. Mm. 
Okay, test pass, three test pass. Okay, let's. This one should fail because we can see by the description that the letter X is missing. And it does in fact fail. Okay, so now we need to make this one pass. It's of course got the missing X. What I could think of doing is if we get a string of the alphabet, which is here. Let alphabet equals that. Then we can loop through that alphabet and return false if any letter is not there. I remember we had the sec. Me being a modern programmer, I'm absolutely useless when the um, what do we call it? IntelliSense doesn't work. Do we have a sec each? We could. What we could also do is we could remove spaces, get a distinct string, and still check if it's less than 26 characters. got distinct um, Let's put the distinct first. What am I doing wrong here? Maybe that's not on not equals. Okay, so again, this will probably serve the main purpose. Um, take the input to get distinct characters, filter out 
um, spaces and check if we still have 26 characters. Uh, if you are wondering why this looks like this, those are two characters. It is a greater than and an equal to. But the font I'm using has what is called font ligatures. So it displays it as a greater than, equal to like that. I like it. A lot of people don't. That passes. Ha. Clever me. Okay. Next test. Missing H should also pass. does okay now my test here should pass but it now does present an interesting conundrum if you think about it because if we take the e out for example okay there's another e um there's only one x if we take this x out it should pass as well um but I would argue what you then need is another test. If you know the test you're writing doesn't sufficiently cover you, you need another test. And if we look down here, it looks like we do have that other test that will serve us. So I'm not going to change the test. If my test passes, I'm going to accept it for now. still passes um, okay that's just added two additional characters it will remove the spaces and of course from that I should get about 28 characters which is greater than that I suppose I could look for an exact number if I wanted to be more specific but the test passes and when you're doing test-driven development, you write code to get the test to pass. And if you know there's still something missing, you need another test. So hopefully this one will break it. I know my code on the left is a bit messy at the moment. For example, the way I've continued that second bit I really don't need the first bit I could go straight into that sequence and also I'm not using that alphabet at the top um, so I could say we're in I suppose but let's see okay this is failing now um, which is exactly what I was expecting so what I want to change is Instead of saying filter out not spaces, filter out anything that isn't an alphabetical character. Um, so
is this a system char? Can we specify the type? Why I'm curious to um, apparently the system char has a built-in check for is is letter. Could also look for the another way to do this would be to convert it to a byte and see where it falls into the um, what do we call it what its, its values are because we can see that it is a, a characters are our bytes essentially so does it fall between a and z um, that's one way to do it it's not quite as elegant maybe um, so okay so what I can see yeah, the system chart does have an is letter method. But we don't seem to have that, so I would have to convert um, F sharp to system char and then see if it is a letter. char is letter what happens can we hoi that in there uh, let's open system what that's just open there it's it's similar to f sharp where you a using namespace then do we need this function can we just pass that in like that running that test And that passes. Ha ha. Well done me. Okay, so here yeah, ignore this for now. Um that that's not necessarily Siri right now, I don't think. What we're taking, we're saying, okay, we've got input. Let's get everything distinct in input. So if we've got two spaces, we'll then only have one space. Um if we've got two E's in the sentence, we only have one e left. Can't even make that exact. Um, mm, interesting. We can have. This is going to give us a problem with upper and lower case. Um, what I mean is, if we have a, if we have a missing x, but we have a capital R and a small r it will still count because it's not going to distinct them. Um, I'm going to make a little note of that there and just make sure that we do cover that in a test at some point. But we are passing, we can move on. Let the 
us do carry on. What is this? Mixed case and punctuation um, should equal true. This will probably still be okay. Past nine tests passed. Okay, this looks like it might do what we want because you see it's duplicating these letters here the F and the F and the X and the X, and it might give us the length we need as well. So let's see what happens. It fails. That is because we are saying yes, it's got everything. Okay, so I think this is covering what I said here. Um, so what we want to do is what is distinct by? If we use distinct by, do you think we can... Say distinct by case ir irrelevant. Um, like if we say f function x, x, uh, char dot to upper invariant. What do you prefer? Do you prefer that space there or not? I know in C sharp I would never put a space there, but in F sharp it's, it's sort of different, isn't it? So that would be distinct by upper invariant. Let's see what that does. Because what I'm suspecting is it's going to make everything upper before doing a distinct, which would mean that duplicate F should be filtered out. Another thing would be to um, I could seek map and put that there. That should work as well. Um, that does work, but I kind of like that. Why do more when you can do less? It's also more, um, it's telling us why we're making it upper. It's telling us that we want to make the characters uppercase because we're distincting by uppercase letters. Uh, so to me, it's explaining our intent a bit better, I think. Uh, let's clean this up a bit. And I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to say equals um, because it should always be exactly 26. Um, it's again, it's telling us that these are the, the 26 to rule them all. There we go. I'm quite happy with this. I am going to submit it. I will include my, my link 
to the solution if you're interested please go on to exorcism look at other solutions do this yourself send me your solutions um thank you bye bye